Come on down, it's time to begin. Time to make a sandwich with two naked men. Hello, and welcome to Two Naked Men Making a Sandwich. Today we're making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on nine grain bread. Oh no, that's 12 grain. This is a gourmet version. <laughs> Silly me. Let me go ahead and explain the ingredients. First, we're going to use two slices of the 12 grain bread. Then we have our strawberry preserve. Uh, it's because strawberries are in season right now. If you're looking to save some money, you can use some grape jelly or jam as well. And then today uh, we've selected the uh, creamy peanut butter. Um, if you want to get a little more adventurous, uh, you can use a crunchy option, but we believe that the creamy will spread better on the bread. Now we're going to have, uh, we'll have Taylor start off with the peanut butter. Oh, thank you. Um, some people debate and say they should use a spatula, but I prefer a good old fashioned table knife. It wasn't too tight. <laughs> Uh, now, you really want to go in and get as much as you can right away. You don't want to go back for more and waste time. Just go ahead and get a lot right away. Smack that on down. Make sure that you're not snobbish and that you go directly to those corners. One of the worst things that you can possibly do is give one someone a peanut butter jelly sandwich, have them take a bite of it and taste dry bread and not the delicious taste of the marinade of peanut butter and jelly together. But, like I said, really get it in there. Really get it good. And don't be afraid. While Taylor finishes the peanut butter application, I will start on the other side for the preserve. Now, scholars have debated for centuries the knife or the spoon. I'm going to go with the spoon today. You want to get a nice hefty, hefty glob in there and plop it down. And then you want to do a figure eight, yes. And definitely get all the surrounding areas as well and not missing a spot at all. Same like the peanut butter, you want to get it all in one, one swift whoop. So it digs right into that bread there. Oh, yum, yum, yum. And now, like the perfect union, two must become one. Sandwich high five! Yes! your sandwich marinade for about mm, five to ten minutes so the flavors get all jumbled up. And we've already prepared one ahead of time. Mmm. Can't wait to sink my teeth into that. And it smells so good too. Mm -hmm. Well we're enjoying this why don't you make one for yourself? But remember, it's what's on the inside that counts. <laughs> that was the show, but it had to end. We just made a sandwich with two naked men.